What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Yesterday, I did a video regarding the Air Jordan 6 UNCs. Now, now that I've mentioned it, I haven't checked to see if they did wind up updating the sneakers out because today is March 1st. So it's the first of the month. So get up, get up, get up. Now, look, I'm about to check and I don't see, I still don't see the Air Jordan 6 UNC's uploaded on the sneakers app. I don't even see the Drake Noctis either. Again, those drop on the third. So, man, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm hoping that the shock drop was not the only release that we are getting from sneakers app, but they should at least have, I say again, let's give it to the third. Let's not jump to conclusions, you know, because again, the Drake Joy is supposed to drop on the third. So maybe tomorrow or later on tonight, they're just going to add everything that's supposed to be dropping this week because as of right now, this week is looking very dry as far as sneakers at. Well, they got the playoffs on here. I don't think the playoffs was on here yesterday. They finally loaded the Air Jordan 12 playoffs on the sneakers app. So, I, and those come out March 11th. I don't know, y'all. Maybe somebody should hit up sneakers and, you know, go to one of the live chat people and see if them joints still dropping. Because, again, they ain't on here. Before we get to the topic of today's video, Army, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up. And, of course, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We are about 10 subscribers away from hitting the next milestone of 224,000 members of the Unbreakable Army. So, again, make sure you share the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you do all that stuff so we can continue to climb. All right. Now, with that being said, Army, everything when it comes to sneakers could be a teachable moment. Now, we got Go app. We got StockX. And a lot of people are always on edge as far as should they trust go or should they trust stock it? Now, when I generally get that question break, which one should I go with? I'm looking for these, where should I go? I generally tell people to go to stadium goods. Now, stadium goods may be the most expensive, but the reason why I say stadium goods is because I've heard the least amount of bad news that has happened with stadium goods. I've heard a lot about Flight Club. I've heard a lot about Go. I've heard a lot about stock X. I've heard a lot about all of them. None of them are like scotch-free. None of them are just 100% clean. We are humans. We all make mistakes. But as far as just hearing news, Stadium Goods to me has been, you know, the least talked about as far as somebody receives something that they weren't supposed to receive. But on the other hand, Stadium Good again is probably the most expensive. So you probably gonna spend an extra 150 to 200 to 300 dollars buying on stadium good depending on what the shoe is but a member of the army here hit me up the other day and i've been wanting to do this video for a minute so i screenshotted the message that he sent me i was hoping you could help me out with figuring out my current situation i ordered the i'm on year ones of goat i ordered with insta ship we're gonna talk about insta ship in a second okay so I finally got my tracking information, man. This thing says Hong Kong from DHL. To a lot of people, that is a red flag, but we gonna dissect all this, okay? I'm like, man, WTF. I'm all on YouTube looking at videos, trying to figure out, did I get finessed or what? Have you ever experienced this? I heard the box will come with Chinese letters as well, man. This don't sound good. Let me know what you think. And then of course he sent me you know, his tracking or his information from Go, and it does have DHL on the top. Now, we're going to start with this. Both StockX and Go does send out legit sneakers. Does some sneakers slip through? Very sure they do. Um, Again, everybody is human. A lot of people make mistakes. When it comes to me personally, me personally, I don't mind buying a general release sneaker, especially like once it already dropped. You know, I don't mind going to go and stock X if I really needed it, if I couldn't find it. Again, if it comes to me, I don't mind grabbing a pair of Cardinal 3s or a pair of Racer Blue 5s or something like that. Retro ones could be iffy, but when it comes to just regular GRs, I don't mind. Now, when it comes to the more expensive pieces, that's why I will keep, you know, my sneaker sluts my English souls, things of that nature. Now, seeing how the I'm on my Air 1s is a highly sought after Air Jordan 1, 
I'm sure it's probably fakes out there. Hearing Insta ship makes me know that they already have those pairs probably in hand. You know that Go and StockX have bigger umbrella companies who put money in. When you think of instant ship, especially when it's an early shoe, if it's an early shoe a week or two before release and you see instant ship and they can actually ship that joint out to you, nine out of 10 and my best hopes and belief is that they got that from a Nike retail store. Meaning that since I know Foot Locker has put money into GOAT, nine out of 10, they got those shoes from Foot Locker or they got those shoes from another company that we can trust if y'all pay attention when goat got instant ship they got that after and i could be wrong if i'm wrong with anything in here army please believe me i would not be upset if y'all correct me in a respectful way right my knowledge goat got instant ship after Foot Locker invested millions of dollars into their company so that does make me feel somewhat more comfortable again as far as instant ship that mean they already had those pairs available Bam, we ain't gotta wait for nobody to send in a pair and we already double check it. They already got them joints in their warehouse. Now you guys also know, I know for a fact GOAT, StockX may have this as well. I wanna say they do, but they have stations in these other countries. GOAT has a station in China, StockX has a station in China. So if you are receiving sneakers from China, that does not necessarily mean that you are getting a fake shoe. And number two, most of these sneakers are made over there. <laughs> we got to remember that there's a Nike Hong Kong. There's a Nike Japan. There's a Nike South Korea. Like these other countries have Nike stores. United States is not the only country that have sneaker stores and that actually get shoes shipped over to them. So when StockX and GOAT became international, best believe that they get shoes from us and we get shoes from them. And at least I know it for a fact for GOAT, they have a station over there. So we can place the order over here in Texas, Chicago, Florida, wherever, and you could potentially get a sneaker from GOAT coming from China. Not like that is not possible to happen. So I do want y'all to know that because a lot of people see that as a red flag. Why am I ordering a sneaker from GOAT and it's coming from China? Again, they have stations over there and these places over there have stores as well. Again, I, I just feel like most sneakerheads just think that we are the only place that gets sneakers. Them joints is made over there for the most part. Nike factories where people make the shoes in China, in Vietnam, we've seen Taiwan. So again, these sneakers are made over there in these countries and these countries have Nike stores. Next, let's talk about DHL for a second because again, DHL has gotten a bad rap over the years and if you see an order coming from DHL, that does not necessarily mean that you are getting a fake sneaker. DHL is an international shipping company. It was founded in Germany, I believe. So when we have international orders, now to my knowledge, now I haven't lived in China, I haven't lived in Japan, I haven't lived in Europe, I haven't lived in none of these other countries, but I'm not 100% sure and I highly doubt that you have United States Postal Service over there delivering mail <laughs> in China and Japan and Germany they have other shipping companies over there that is not related to the United States. So again, if you are getting a package from DHL, that is an international shipping company. I'm not saying that every package that you receive from DHL will be 100% legit. I'm just saying don't automatically think that it's a red flag to be receiving an order from DHL, whether it's via StockX, whether it's via GOAT. I want to say a member of the Army had purchased a sneaker from Flight Club and the shoe was getting shipped via DHL. And again, I wanna say Flight Club and GOAT are working together as well, or Flight Club and Full, it's, it's getting confusing almost to a point that I think everybody is working together when it comes to this big resale pot. But I do know that Flight and GOAT are, I wanna say working together or in cahoots or <laughs> some of that nature. I know they collab or they putting money into each other. I know Foot Locker is the main umbrella that's supporting, you know, some of the aspects of Flight Club and GOAT, or they just invested. Now, I want to use that word. Flight and GOAT may have invested in each other, and I know Foot Locker has invested in these companies as well. Hence again, how instant ship may have came to 
what it is now. Now, one company that I hear y'all talk about a lot that I still haven't gotten a package from, or maybe they're not in, in Illinois, is Laser Ship. I know a member of the Army hit me up, say his shoes got delivered via Laser Ship and it's packaged with damage and all this. I don't know where Laser Ship is. Again, I feel like Laser Ship just came out of nowhere because all these years, it's always been like UPS, USPS, FedEx, you know, as far as in the States, but now Laser Ship, that may be some new stuff, but again, I haven't gotten a package from Laser Ship. But again, Army, you get a tracker from DHL that's coming from Hong Kong or Japan or somewhere overseas, Germany, again, please don't be alarmed by that. Still, always, always, always still just double check your product. But again, GOAT has stations over there in China. That's why you're getting an order from China. And if you get a DHL, 9 out of 10, it's an international package that you are receiving, meaning that it's coming overseas and it's coming over here to you, okay? Also, Army, I want to mention something that has been pretty much on every retro. Maybe starting with the cool grays. I noticed some of mine didn't have this, and I noticed some did have this, and that is the suggested retail price on our boxes now. And it's not just Jordan sneakers. It's pretty much most of Nike sneakers now are not having that suggested retail price on it. Now, for the longest, we've always, you know, put two or two together. Like, you know, hey, if I get a box that does not have a suggested retail, that's a package that's coming from overseas. And for the most part, that was true. But now, most of our boxes does not have the suggested retail price. And that's low key kind of been messing me up because some of these sneakers are 200 bucks. Some of these sneakers are 210. Like the Cardinals was 200, I believe. The playoffs are gonna be 210 and the UNC Sixers were 210 as well. But again, it's, it's, it's not like we can check. I feel like at least with Foot Locker, it's kind of been messing us up because with at least two or three sneakers so far this year where the in-store price and the online app price was two different prices or Nike may have had a price and Foot Locker may have had a price and it was two different prices. But with all that being said as well, because I did see a tweet this morning and you know, the guy was just like, man, did Nike finesse me? Cause in the end it was the Cardinal threes. And he was like, this is the first time I bought a sneaker or oh, sneakers app and it came without the suggested retail. And again, it didn't have like the grooves or the ridges where it looked like somebody took it off. And you know, it was a lot of people just in the comments just, you know, explaining to him like, man, look, bro, that's how it is now. Because again, a lot of misinformation has been given out, you know, throughout the year. So a lot of people still remember some of the things that were said and they're still taking that into consideration. And today, and I mean, today is a whole different monster. So again, Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. If y'all got new information, hit your boy up so I can give it out to the Army. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get him easy. Yo, it's old, him first season. Them most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.